In Minnesota, road construction is inevitable, and it mainly takes place during the peak season for going to the lake. Destination communities like Jacobson, Swan River, Warba, Goodland, and Pengalee. The roundabout road construction of Highway 65 North and Highway 2 has affected many small businesses in that area. Our reporter Matthew Freeman has more on a project to help those communities and hopefully keep customer traffic flowing through the summer months. Thanks to road construction on Highway 65 North and Highway 2, many small businesses in the Itasca and Aiken County area have seen a drastic impact to what normally would be their busiest season, which leaves small business owners worried for their winter months ahead. It's cut into our flow of people coming through here. A lot of our customers are pretty loyal and they'll go out of their way to get to us. But then the ones that aren't regulars, you know, will they've just decided they're not even going to come down this way. I've, I've heard that from several people. Well, we'll just wait until the construction's over and then we'll come and see you. Well, that impacts our bottom line significantly. Tourism brings in roughly $100 million and employs over 1,500 people in Itasca County alone. So when construction like this takes place, it can affect many small businesses on those roads. We make a significant amount of our income over the summer months from May to probably what, September? Yeah. And we've lost probably over half of our revenue this summer from this project. So it's, it's not great, but we'll muddle through. Highway 65 is like an interstate usually in the summer, and this summer it's dead. It's like a county road. <laughs> the detours not only affect the businesses in those areas, but the roads the drivers are suggested to take may not be the best to travel on. The intended detour is a country road, a gravel road, uh, which has proven to be very disruptive to those local residents because where they might only see a couple of cars a day, they're now seeing semis. And uh, the roads and the infrastructure simply wasn't designed for that, so it's very impactful to their quality of life out in the country where they've chosen to live. This is why Itasca County Commissioner John Johnson has partnered with North Star Marketing to start the Open on 65 project to hopefully bring awareness to these businesses affected by the construction. My first and foremost desire is to help financially support and inspire people to go the extra mile and continue to come to these businesses even though it's a little inconvenient right now so we can help them build up the financial uh, support and continue to sustain their operations through the summer because much of the revenue that's needed to get through the winter is earned in the summer. I'm also just trying to bring to light an unintended consequence of major construction projects in rural Minnesota in hopes that MnDOT will take a slightly different look at construction projects in rural Minnesota and maybe handle them a little differently in terms of 20 and 30 mile detours completely taking traffic patterns away from businesses that rely on that just to get through their year. Reporting in Itasca County, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. The Highway 65 North and Highway 2 roundabout construction started on April 8th of this year and hopes to be completed later in the fall of 2024. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.